$229 billion. Uh, over the last five years, we've increased spending by $66 billion. It's out of control when you think about how much spending is occurring here in the state of New York. And people understand that because they're walking right out of New York, going to states with greener pastures, you know, uh, Florida and Texas, and we lead, unfortunately, the state in migration. And we need to do a better job reining in spending, but also budgets are about priorities. I always look at this because it's very, very important. I think for our future, we need strong infrastructure. We need good schools, great schools. We need a learn, learning for work development task force, for example. And these are the things that I focused on in the budget. So I want to give you a little bit of good news. CHIPS funding, that is $60 million across the state for bridges and roads in our culverts. And we know how important it is right now to look at our infrastructure. I also want to just say we have investments in our education which are unprecedented, but this is important for our future and for our children. And also, we did some work on our Learn for Work task force to help get individuals into the trades where the majority must be paying attention because within the budget there are additional funding for our Learn for Work and for our trades, all very important. Again, some bad things though when you look at the budget. Minimum wage is going up. That's going to put additional burdens on our agriculture and our farms. Also, we need to look at our energy policy in the state of New York. Right now, if you're going to build a brand new home or a building, they're going, you have to have all electric starting in 2025. Natural gas is a clean energy. We need it in upstate New York, and yet this downstate driven majority ripping it away on new builds. Uh, I will say this, I want to thank my constituents who stood up with me to push back against banning natural gas in existing homes. That's because of our voices who stood up to the governor and said, we cannot do that, though I am disappointed, unfortunately, that she's banning it on new builds. So overall, there was a lot of bad in this budget. We cannot continue to keep spending like this, and I will continue to fight for the families and the taxpayers of Western New York.